Here's what we have on tap for today. A massive wave of evictions is coming. Temporary bans will not help. Home sales crash, vehicle sales crash, and also an additional 6 million people filed unemployment just in the first week of April. Hey everybody, JJ here. It is April 9th. It is Thursday. Now before we get started, I am very happy to say that we are sponsored by Boxable Homes. These are high quality, movable, low cost homes. They are factory built made right here in the USA in northern Las Vegas. These units will include full size appliances including full size refrigerator and washer and dryer and prices fully loaded start at only $49,500. These homes even caught the eye of HUD secretary Ben Carson as homelessness continues to increase and affordable housing is becoming more and more of a problem. They can be shipped internationally, including anywhere in the USA. These homes are going to be a game changer for affordable housing. Please check the link below in description and take a look at these amazing homes for yourself. Now we are likely going to be seeing a wave of evictions that could absolutely cause havoc. Now it depends on the severity of the sickness. But even if the sickness were to go away tomorrow, the damage has been done. People cannot afford to be out of work just for a few weeks because so, so many people are living on the financial edge and temporary bans will not help. Let's go to this article. This is out of San Francisco Gate. Now in our previous report, we talked about nearly one in three people were unable to pay their rent in April. And in some areas, it's even worse. New York is actually over 44% of people that weren't able to pay rent just in the month of April. And we've only been in this lockdown now for a few weeks. So that should tell you the position of the average U.S. consumer. And where rents are higher, it's going to be even worse. Now think about how bad this could get, considering nearly a third of all of Americans in the workforce, that's over 41 million people, they earn less than $12 an hour, and many of them have limited access to health care also. Okay, this could be millions upon millions of people getting eviction notices. Now, there are some states that are putting moratoriums on the foreclosures and on the evictions. We've talked about that. But many of them are just temporary. How many people are going to be able to, after, let's say, two, three, four months, go back and be able to pay that back due rent? Right, So there's going to have to be some sort of meeting in the middle. That means landlords are going to have to lower their rents. Because sure, you can evict somebody, but then are you going to find another person to rent your home when there's such massive devastation and job losses in the economy? It is unlikely. So we could likely see pain on both sides, the tenants and also the landlords. Because remember, the landlords also have carrying costs and many people took out mortgages to buy investment properties. And many of them at the time, I'm sure they were positive that they would always have that monthly cash flow because they were told the economy was strong, the American consumer is strong. But what this sickness has done, it's bursted the bubble and it's exposed the real underlying economy. And what is that? That is a broke American citizen, uh, typically barely able to make ends meet, sadly. right? We live in, in an inflationary environment with unleashed lending that has caused unnatural demand for purchases of items and assets, including housing. And that's one of the reasons why prices have been driven up so high. You also have the other side of it, where investors are looking for returns. But in an, an inflationary environment, people have to look for bigger returns. And that's why you saw so many people run into the stock market, run into the housing market, looking for that return to protect themselves from inflation that is caused by the central bank. That is the backbone of this entire illusionary economy that we're in. It's all about the central bank. Now at the end of this video, we're going to talk about what some solutions might be because I did see a couple comments saying, okay, there's a lot of bad things happening, but what are some solutions? We're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. Also, here's something else we talked about that actually came to fruition. We said that landlords also are going to have these carrying costs and therefore they're going to have to start helping people on other things like homeowners association fees, property taxes, and sure enough, Governor Newsom has introduced a property tax relief program to help homeowners, many of them who are also landlords and renting out their properties. All right, so as you can see, this is easily going to unfold into a red tape nightmare. Um, just think about all the paperwork you have to do to buy and sell a home. Right? It's not like a stock where you can just liquidate it and it's gone in a matter of seconds. Sales of homes can take months. You have inspections, approvals for mortgages. 
contracts, uh, repairs. So people are going to be stuck and many people are going to have to get relief with the taxes and probably everything else. I'm sure many utilities are going to be shut off during this time. And that means they'll have to come in and regulate the utility companies because they're likely going to charge disconnection or reconnection fees or both. Right, late fees with utilities. Right, you're talking about a bureaucratic nightmare. We're about ready to head into it. Next, let's take a look at home sales and vehicle sales. They are crashing as would be expected in a time like this, but how big and how rapid is the decline in sales? Well, since the outbreak, Southern California home buying plummets to 30%. Now, that is a six year low. And again, we are just on the tip of the iceberg of this mess. There are many people that still haven't been able to back out of their home buying transaction. For example, people are losing their security deposits because they lost their job after they signed the contract to purchase a home. Now they want to back out of the deal, but in many cases they cannot get their security deposit back. So this chart tells us the uh, escrows and it's dropping nearly 30% in every major area here in Southern California. Here's an article here and it discusses the homeowners that cannot get their security deposit back and it highlights one individual when a builder denied him his $15,000 deposit now he has to take legal action against the home builder and there's going to be such a big backup in these types of cases that the court system also is likely going to be overwhelmed same situation with vehicle sales this is a recent chart right out of the Fed updated as of April 3rd and we see to the right here just a huge huge drop off a more rapid decline than the financial crisis let's go ahead and zoom in here so we can see it a little better and we see it went from 17 million down to 11 million just a quick math on that that's about a 40 percent decline now of course with people being afraid to leave the house you think that's natural it is but this may have a very hard time recovering vehicle sales so what are all these people going to do at these car dealers, the salespeople, the finance people, all the people that work in that industry? People are not going to be wanting to go out and buy a vehicle when they're two or three, four months behind on their rent and they have to come up with a lump sum payment after this temporary ban on evictions is finished, whenever that may be. You see what I'm trying to get at here, folks? This is going to unfold into a nightmare unless a miracle happens. Now, I don't know what that miracle is. Even if it's a miracle cure that comes out, again, the damage has been done because people have been living on the edge financially. And I don't think there's going to be a pain-free way out of this for anyone, even people that aren't getting evicted. You're likely going to see a drop-off in hours and other things that might happen. And also something to keep in mind, the reason vehicle sales was still holding steady, even though so many people were broke, is because dealers and finance companies were loosening the lending. We saw the surge into people getting six-year loans, seven-year loans, and beyond. And just in the past few months, that had really started catching up, and we've reported on it here. Many defaults were happening. Uh, millions of people, especially subprime borrowers of automobiles, they were getting late on their payments up to 90 days and beyond for millions of people. Right. So the financial pain was going to hit regardless this sickness just sped up the process drastically. Finally, let's wrap it up here. An additional 6 million people unemployed just in the first week of April. And this is on the tail of the 10 million people in the last two weeks of March. So as you see, it is getting worse. It is accelerating. If this happens again next week, you're going to see 12 million in two weeks, which outpaces the 10 million that we saw at the end of two weeks in March. So Job losses are accelerating. Again, we're at the tip of the iceberg of this crisis. It's likely going to get worse. Uh, please prepare yourselves if you haven't already. Try to quit the foolish spending. Now, at the beginning, I talked about what are some possible solutions. Well, I think more people need to talk about what we talk about on this channel and other financial channels on YouTube. There are many, many great channels out there. I'm not saying I'm great, but I think the information is important for people to be talking about. Instead, people are talking about celebrities, uh, which sports team scored the most points. People are distracted with political debate on which side's bad and which side's worse. But we need to look at the politicians and really ask the tough questions 
you know, why are there tens of thousands of homeless people living on the street, but yet home prices keep going up? Why are most people living paycheck to paycheck yet rents and home prices keep going up? Why is there inflation in this economy when so many people are struggling financially? It doesn't make any sense. So more people need to look at the entire system. This is the central banking system. See, when you reward lenders with bailouts, when the stuff finally hits the fan, that is a moral hazard. It encourages banks to lend out money, even though these banks know that in the end, people cannot pay this money back. So what can we do? Well, talk to your friends and family about these topics, about central banking about the fractional reserve banking system, about the moral hazard of how banks are rewarded for loaning out money they don't have and for giving huge bonuses to the upper level executives. What we actually need is sound money. And I know this sounds crazy to some people, but we need to have a currency that is backed by some sort of commodity, not oil, but something that could be transferable and it could be gold. The thing is, if you're going to do that, gold would have to go up in price dramatically because of so many people. But people wouldn't actually physically have to use the gold and hold the gold in their pocket. It would just be a currency that is backed by the gold, by the commodity, by the hard asset. That way they couldn't print unlimited amounts of money. And you would see massive deflation and there would be a lot of pain at the beginning because it would rein in what people could spend. People couldn't borrow and live beyond their means as easily when there's actually a value attached to the currency banks would not end uh, banks would not lend endlessly if this was a currency that was actually backed by something of real value and yes that would cause deflation because it's the loose lending remember that causes the inflation and all the money being pumped into the system into the economy and when the opposite happens when you tighten up and have a currency that is backed by something you have massive deflation so there would be pain for a while but ultimately the people that lose their homes and get evicted they can pick up the broken pieces and come back in at much more affordable cost of living. Lower home prices, lower rents, there would be deflation. Yes, there would be pain. People are going to lose their homes. People might have to move in with relatives. Uh, people are going to have to look for alternative low-cost living like the boxable item that we talked about, the great company we talked about at the beginning of this video. What if we have many more companies that spring up like boxable that are able to produce these ultra-low but high-quality, low-cost but high-quality housing units that can be easily transported right more people need to be talking about these types of solutions but again the channels they get the most views here for example on YouTube are makeup tips uh, people playing video games and sure there are some great financial channels out there that get a lot more views than mine talking about similar topics uh, topics but even those should get many many more they should be in the millions of subscribers right I'm just one man here on a laptop I don't have a team of editors or content creators um, I admit it, there's a lot more that I can do too, but as a whole, what we can do more often is start talking about these topics with our friends, with our relatives, with our family, at the dinner table, especially now we're all in lockdown, most of us anyways, and it'd be a really good time to try to figure out what got us into this mess. All right, everybody, hope you're well. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you if you're in a tough time right now financially. Um, not many of us are out of the woods. I don't have very many a month's put back of living expenses. I have bills. Also, I have a mortgage on my primary home. I have a rental property that luckily uh, the tenant is able to pay the rent. He's a retired individual. He's not feeling any pain from this at all since he's retired. I'm sure if the government finally said uh, Social Security is not being paid out, then <laughs> we could start feeling the pain. And uh, it's possible. Anything's possible in this environment, in my opinion. All right, I want to thank everybody for being here. There are links down below in the description if you'd like to help us out. Throw me maybe a dollar or two a month on Patreon. That would help out. If you're in that position, thank you so much. Also, just leaving us a thumbs up and a comment also helps the channel. And it helps the engagement. And if you haven't done it already, look down in comments. There are many people down there that are even way smarter than I am. And I don't even consider myself smart. I'm just someone who likes to look at news. I'm concerned about the financial system and our well-being as a people because of the system that we're living under right now. Uh, but many, many people down in comments that uh, have just great ideas. I try to read as many comments as possible. So thank you to everyone that engages in this channel in the comments. Also, the link to Boxable, our new sponsor, is down there. So please check that out if you're looking for a low-cost home. Maybe put it in their backyard for a granny flat. Maybe you can help someone else out that has a hard time keeping a roof over their head. Maybe it's a friend or family. Uh, someone that you know that lost a job that's going to need a low place, a low price place, cost to live. 
Uh, maybe instead of sticking, uh, let's say, your aging parents or grandparents in a nursing home that's going to cost, what, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month, maybe more, maybe get a granny flat that's going to be just a couple hundred dollars a month in payments. Uh, one of these boxable homes are excellent for that. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, also, if you do uh, go to the boxable link, say that Bull Boom Bear Bust on YouTube sent you. It may ask you who you, who uh, referred you, and that does help out the channel also if you're checking out those boxable homes. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.